Over the centuries, scientists have searched for the elusive transition species fossils and missing links that would prove our faith in Darwinian evolution was not in vain. Thus far, the search has been unsuccessful. But there is hope. A group of enlightened biologists from Oxford University have discovered something incredible. Thanks to the brave new world of social media, YouTube may hold the answers we've all faithfully waited for. Wow. Yeah. How many animals got here? Rather than grasping at the past, scientists are now focusing on the present where what Darwin called a favored race is clearly taking shape. Hello, this is Dr. Michael Greger coming to you live from my treadmill. I am from Motown, Motor City. Badass, uh, born and raised, because I've been doing this 42 year vegan. And There's a lot of erectile dysfunction to stamp out. That's my passion. That? Oh my God. Transmuting before our very eyes. Big gains. Meet the future of humanity. A race that has taken the reins of natural selection and thus become gods among men. Transforming themselves into the true herbivores we were always meant to be. Biologists are calling this new master race Soul Boy Herbivorous known on YouTube as vegans. Hey everybody, this is Klaus from Plant Based Sneeze. While some are skittish and hide their mutations for fear that the lower races may revolt, others flaunt their adaptations with pride and hubris. Some members of the vegan master race have rapidly developed the protruding gut, the distended belly, characteristic of plant-eating primates. Some specimens are rapidly intentionally adapting and consuming their own waste products. Much like herbivores, such as gorillas and elephants, are known to consume their and others' fecal matter Many vegans can be observed consuming their own urine. Scientists believe this may give them superhuman strength and improved abilities to attract a mate. Though very few vegans seem to desire to breed, and many opt to sterilize themselves, leaving the fertile females of the species to be inseminated by only the most superior specimens who vehemently enforce the sterilization of their inferiors. Oh. <laughs> we got Dr. Gregor here. What vegan birth control method would you recommend? Vasectomy. Hell yeah, baby, you heard me, you heard me, you heard him. <laughs> well, get on board, come on. <laughs> yes, I mean? love this guy. Why? Another theory laid forth by scientists concerning the Consumption of urine among vegans Here's my here. I have like a huge crazy strap. I the size of that. is that it is a ritualistic ceremonial recognition of their godhood, anointing the eyes and throat chakra with the golden liquid of the phallus of the gods, could give transitioning vegans confidence and vitality as they consciously evolve into the modern ubermensch. Further study is required. While none of the specimens have been observed consuming their fecal matter, as other herbivores and primates do, most vegan YouTubers can be regularly observed excreting the verbal equivalent of feces from their mouths. Because for most of them they've known nothing but suffering and pain from humans. 
and yet in this environment where they've been shown love and shown compassion they've learned to trust humans again and feel comfortable in their presence. I do daily vegan health and nutrition videos every single day unless I'm snowed with assignments in which I answer your health questions. Um, by um, uh, um, basically what's called ectopic fat. Perhaps the more evolved members of the master race in their unfathomable wisdom hide these practices from the lower races to avoid alarming the normies. Oh my god, imagine fruit coming in and fruit coming out. It is a, it's the best. It's really the best and I'm so that was one of the benefits I didn't really expect to to uh, to appear. Several prominent vegans known to spew copious amounts of verbal excrement are obsessively collecting the excrement from other vegans through cleverly disguised, brazen publicity stunts. Biologists have theorized that these members of the vegan master race may be attempting to accelerate their own evolution while stunting the mutations of the lesser developed soy boys who are easily duped into relinquishing their fecal matter into the hands of cunning vegan YouTubers who are rapidly evolving at the expense of the other members of the vegan master race. Science will need to further study these incredible developments which we hope eventually prove once and for all that our faith in Darwinian evolution was not in vain. Time will tell if soy boy herbivorous truly is the vegan master race. The true ubermensch we've all been waiting for. Until then, we will all closely monitor the vegan YouTube community for further confirmation. This is Tristan Attenborough from NPC News. May the gods of the vegan master race be with you. Audio jungle.